English language learners at all levels of schooling may feel a lack of engagement in language classrooms. This can start with boredom, lack of achievement, low test scores, and eventually leads to negative schooling experiences and negative overall impressions of school. Previous research shows that students who are engaged learn better. The literature also suggests that task engagement can mediate the effects of external, school, and classroom-based variables in the learning process. However, the term engagement has yet to be well-defined in the literature. And concepts like motivation and engagement, whether it's disciplinary engagement, school, class, or task-based engagement, are often confused. The purpose of this current study was to develop an evidence-based model to assist researchers, practitioners, and classroom teachers, specifically those who work with English language learners in supporting students' achievement. In this study, task refers to a classroom activity or exercise with clear goals, a strategy for meeting those goals, and a specific beginning and end. A task includes components such as goals, materials, group formations, process, modes, assessments, and products. Engagement means a state from disengaged to fully engaged that explains a learner's involvement in a task. Facilitator refers to task condition that supports engagement, while indicator means measurable condition that shows whether and to what extent learners are engaged. Outcome means result produced by engagement in a task. For the methodology of this study, the nine research team members were involved in every aspect of the study. First, we reviewed the previous research relevant to task engagement, reading and categorizing of nearly 200 journal articles and chapters to discern the most salient elements of language task engagement. Then, we coded and reconciled two formal online surveys in 10 languages completed by 573 students and 159 teachers from 11 countries. These online surveys were employed to gather data about facilitators of task engagement, one for teachers and one for students. The following table shows the overall number of responses in each language from students and teachers. Further, our model was refined by the confirmatory factor analysis for task engagement facilitators. We conducted CFA techniques to examine the engagement facilitator coded from response to each teacher and student question in a formal service. The following table illustrates the engagement facilitator that were significant elements in the final factor models for each teacher and student question. In addition, using the same coding schema and process, we also coded and reconciled 177 informal surveys completed by students, teachers, and administrators and five conferences and professional meetings to gain additional data that focused on task engagement. The findings of this study led to the development of the model of language task engagement. The model comprises four components. One, task engagement facilitators. Two, language task elements. Three, level of task engagement, and four, language task outcomes. In the model, task engagement facilitators include six primary elements, which may enhance language task engagement when integrated into task components. These elements include authenticity, social interaction, learning support, interest, autonomy, and challenge. Language task elements include all aspects of a task that a teacher can design, from the choice of topic and content to 
the product the students produce. These elements include content or topic, instructional groupings, strategies, resources, goals, process, tools, assessment, and product. Level of task engagement in the model refers to signs of a student's level of engagement. These signs or indicators synthesized from existing scholarship fall into five main categories. Behavioral, cognitive, emotional, agentive, and social. And finally, language task outcomes refers to the possible outcomes of an engaging task, which could include language and content achievement, task performance, attitudes, and development of metacognitive strategies. It is worth mentioning that the literature contributed relatively more to the task elements and outcomes constructs in the model, while all of the data were considered equally for the facilitators and indicators. The findings from the literature and survey data support the set of facilitators and indicators in this model. According to the model, if language task engagement principles, which include authenticity, social interaction, learning support, interest, autonomy, and challenge, are integrated into language task elements, which include content or topic, instructional groupings, strategies, resources, goals, process, tools, assessment, and product, they can lead to students exhibiting signs or indicators of engagement, which could be behavioral, cognitive, emotional, agentive, and social. A student's engagement could ultimately lead to task outcomes, which could be manifested in learners' language and content achievement, task performance, attitudes, and metacognitive strategies. Implications are necessary for any type of research. So, uh, for our particular model, the teaching related implications relate to a study from 2016 by Schwartz that it is difficult to integrate all the facilitators in ways that meet the needs, abilities and desires of students. However, teachers should try to blend at least three. So, according to research, fewer does not seem to make a difference, but three or more can impact outcomes in various significant ways. Also, previous literature and research suggested that technology use can support the integration of task engagement across diverse group of students. Also, the teachers can create action research projects and see what works for them and for their students. In terms of research, Further studies are necessary to clarify what level of each facilitator for which particular group of students during which particular task makes the most difference. So far, research does not provide many descriptions of how language teachers integrate those facilitators into tasks and what indicators are used to understand the learners' levels of task engagement. So, Future studies that explore the relations between facilitators and outcomes, the relations between facilitators and indicators, or any other relations among the suggested constructs of our model are more than necessary. Thank you.